Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a vignette effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop. Then I'm going to open up the image for today's tutorial which is this image of a couple. Now that we have that open I'm just going to double click the background and click OK to make that an editable layer. And the first step in creating our vignette is to take and create an adjustment layer. And the way that we're going to do that is by going down to this little black and white circle and click on that and now you can see all the different adjustment layers right here and we're going to select curves so now you can see if we go back to layers that it's created an adjustment layer right here and we can go back and edit that by clicking on this little graph icon and the first step in adjusting the curves is to take this little black slider and bring it in from the left so you're moving it towards the right and you can see when I do that it makes most of the image um, a little bit darker so I'm going to bring that in probably about a fourth of the way now for you it might be a little bit different, but for my image it works right there at about a fourth. So the next thing we're going to do is take this line right here and we're going to start creating a curve with that. So I'm just going to start dragging it down. And you can see that the whole image gets a little bit darker. And the problem now is that the whole image got a little bit darker. We, to achieve the vignette effect, we need to have the figures or whatever we're trying to create emphasis on um, to become lightened and the rest of the background needs to be a little bit darker. So to take care of this, we're going to go back to the layers, and we're just going to double click to get back to that. And then you can see on the adjustment layer that we have two different icons. We have this little graph icon, which I showed you takes you to the adjustments, and then we have this white box, and this is called a layer mask. And by clicking on that, it puts a little box around there so you know that you've clicked on it. By clicking on that um, and painting or by putting some kind of color on the screen, um, you're going to be using black and white. and Basically the way that it works is black will show through and white will basically leave it alone. So in essence we want to paint black on these uh, figures so that it will allow light to show through. So um, we can do that with like a paintbrush but to do it in a more organized fashion we're going to grab the gradient tool. So when you grab this you want to make sure that you have the radial gradient which is the second one over for me um, and if you hold over it will tell you it's a radial gradient and then we're going to make sure that we have the gradient selected which is black to white so you can see that right here. We're going to click OK and then what we're going to do is take and hold shift and we're going to click somewhere in the middle of our figures and um, we're going to click hold shift and then drag out and the closer you drag you can see if I drag right there it makes our arm light and we want to drag farther out but not too far that it blows everything out like if we drag out there you can see it's almost back to the original which isn't what we want so we want to take and we want to drag out probably somewhere right about there maybe a little bit farther you can see that it adds a nice uh, vignette to them and singles them out puts a lot of emphasis right there on these figures and everything else is a little bit darker and for an image that's a little bit more blown out it can definitely put emphasis right where you want it and it looks um, quite professional you can see that this image has been greatly enhanced by this if you see the before and after um, it really puts a great effect on the image so I hope you guys learned something in today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching